doctrine have really leveled up. Nobody, and I mean nobody, can match this. Is that the nicest indicator sound you ever did hear? Yes. Now, Citroen are in a bit of an uh, experimental phase at the moment. I mean, let's be honest, Citroen are probably one of the quirkiest car manufacturers in history. And lately they've been working very hard to stand out. I mean, you look at the weird and wonderful Ami or the even weirder and even more wonderful Ollie concept. Then you look at this, the Citroen C5X. I mean, look at it. It's a peculiar looking thing, isn't it? I mean, this is a flagship Citroen. This is Citroen returning to big, luxurious cars. But what is it? I mean, is it an SUV? Is it a hatch? Is it a saloon? The answer is yes. It is all of those things. Although I'm not going to lie, when this rocked up at my house, I was very impressed by it. I think it's a really lovely looking car. I love the curvature in the bonnet. I love the details of the chevrons here at the front. I'll tell you what I really like. I don't know the official name for it, so I'm calling it the go faster stripes here at the back. Yeah, it's turned my head. Citroen is making big claims about ride comfort with this car, but before we have a go ourselves, it's worth having a little poke around inside. For a big luxury car, this really matters. They have done a really good job in here. I mean, it's worth noting, this car isn't exactly expensive. So like the C5X starts at just under 28 grand. And for your money, you are getting good quality build. I mean, like on the outside here, this is all nice and squidgy. I like the chevron detailing down here. This wood effect, which is just a wood effect. It's not real wood, but it looks very nice. Got a 12 inch screen, which I would like to say is really easy to use. Um, but I'll be honest, <laughs> it took me ages to figure out where the radio station lists were because I mean, you're so used to just putting on Apple CarPlay or something, which is wireless, by the way, in here. But I was sat here for so long, just pressing all the buttons, home button, car button, pressing all the menus up here. I was like, I don't understand. And then it turns out you just have to swipe it. And there it is. <laughs> so if you ever get one of these, swipe it and you're fine. Now, what we have here is the top spec Shine Plus model. So you get little added goodies like a 360 degree camera, wireless charging, automatic wipers, automatic headlights, which always impresses me. So when I drove here this morning through country lanes, it was very dark and it knows when to put on four beams and when to turn them off. And that just always impresses me every single time. Anyway, this car is mostly about comfort. And I think that's why I feel so relaxed today. There's like extra padding on these seats and I feel all nice. I want a panny roof. I love a panny roof. There's plenty of room to lounge about as well. There's decent amount of legroom and headroom in the back and you get a sizable 545 litre boot. It is worth bearing in mind that this drops to 485 litres if you go for the plug-in hybrid. And that is the version we are driving here today. So the entry level model is 28 grand. The plug-in hybrid is 40 grand. It's quite a big jump, isn't it? So what do you actually get for your money? Well, you get 222 brake horsepower, 250 newton meters of torque from a 1.6 liter four cylinder petrol hybrid. Do you know what? It's got plenty of poke, it has. I mean, it's not going to get you hot under the collar and get you really excited and give you an excited tum-tum. But that's not what this car is designed to do. It will do 0 to 62 in 7.9 seconds. This is a, a gentle cruiser. And when you gently cruise your gentle cruiser, that is when you realise how refined this thing is, especially when it's driving in electric mode. It's really smooth. Plus, you've got a really smooth eight-speed automatic gearbox. But in electric power, I mean, you'll get 38 miles of electric range anyway, but this would be so good as a pure EV. It would be so good. Suggestion there for you, Citroen. Thank you very much. Now, you get adaptive dampers as standards. That's constantly adjusting to whichever surface you're driving on to make it just right. And you also get progressive hydraulic cushions for the suspension. I mean, it's just pure comfort, isn't it? 
it's just pure comfort. I'm very relaxed right now. And that is a mixture of the seats, the suspension, and the really nice indicator sounds. Just makes me feel really good. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I just love it. It's actually quite refreshing to see a manufacturer focusing on comfort rather than super sharp handling with a car like this, because nobody is buying a C5X to drive it like a hot hatch. You just waft along, and as long as you don't drive it like a buffoon, it's a really relaxing machine. Right. For the sake of science, and for the sake of you, I'm going to drive this car like an idiot. Because look, you might share your car, and there might be one of you that's a really gentle, calm driver, and the other one is a fan of Fast and Furious. So it's only right that we make sure that you're both happy. So I'm going to put it in sport mode. There we go. And let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Go on. Okay. Concentration tongue comes out. <laughs> okay. Well, the grip's pretty good. Let's get around this corner. I'll tell you what. The steering is, I mean, it's quite light, but it's fairly accurate. And it's not as rolly as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a bit more wallowy and rolly than that, but that's not bad at all, is it? I wish it had a bit more oomph. But round those corners, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. <sighs> I think I'm slowly falling in love with this car. It's a really interesting machine, is the C5X. On paper, it shouldn't really work. It's a car that's trying to be lots of things, not least a relatively affordable car that's also luxurious and feels special from behind the wheel. But you know what? It feels like a bit of a return to form from Citroen, and we quite like it. The car industry needs a bit of spice, and at the moment, Citroen is providing some.